Hi YouTube, this is Mimitani here for Stack96 and in this video I'm going to be giving you my top 5 new features in the new Filters app by Google. So this Filters app came out yesterday and is available from the link down in the description below and it basically brought along with it a whole range of new features and it's not connected to Google Plus anymore so there's a whole lot of features in that area. Watch on to find out what they are. So the first new feature is unlimited storage and this basically applies to pictures that are below 16 megapixels and below and videos that are below 1080p. If they're above that amount then they'll just be basically um, brought down to that size. So there is still the option to use the original size although you are going to have to pay for that and it is going to go against your file storage that you've got available in your account. So both of the options are there but for me because I don't really use 4K that much and my pictures don't normally go above 16 megapixels anyway it's going to be pretty much fine for me I'm going to be able to have a second place for storage apart from OneDrive so it's going to be pretty good the second new feature is different views so in the Photos app, kind of like in the um, Apple Photos app there's going to be a whole lot of different views there's going to be comfortable, there's going to be day there's going to be compact and there's going to be month and basically to get between these you just pinch in or pinch out and it'll just um, either zoom into the photo or go out of it depending on if you pinch in or pinch out and it just gives some really really nice views and it lets you scroll through the pictures a lot faster and there's also a little scroll bar on the side that will help you with that too my third point is that there's no more Google Plus as I kinda mentioned before so this means that you can easily share links with anyone they don't have to be um, connected with Google Plus or any of that stuff they don't even have to have a Google account you can just basically give them a link and they'll be able to see the photos directly the options to do auto awesome and auto enhance and all of those things that were just kept for Google Plus users are now available to anyone too. So you can make use of that in the Google um, Photos app. And yeah, all the stuff from Google Plus has basically moved over to this app now, which is pretty great. My fourth point is that you can choose what folders you want to upload. You can actually choose which folders from the phone that you want to upload. So you can upload from download, you can upload from Snapchat, you can upload from WhatsApp and a whole load of other places so this is going to be a really really nice feature my fifth point is that there's a new way to select lots of pictures so before you had to do that thing where you kept your hand on one until um, the tick mark went on it and then you have to keep tapping on other ones but now you can just slide down um, after long pressing on one of them and it will select a whole bunch of pictures and it's going to be able to let you select a whole load of pictures easily to um, share with anyone or to delete them um, or any of that stuff so it's going to be really, really nice. So anyway, those were my top five new features in the Photos app on Android. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and be sure to leave a comment down below as to what you think about this app for yourself and whether you think it's better than the original app for some reason you like the original app better or you're just not bothered about it. Just be sure to tell me down in the comments and be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.